Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flowchart or graphic organizer template and share it with your students in Google Classroom so that they can edit it and make their own version of the template. Let's go ahead and get started. So the tool we're going to use here is Google Drawings. There's a lot of tools that your students could use or that you could use to make a flowchart or graphic organizer. But since we're using G Suite for Education, Google Drawings is a good option. We're going to go up here to our insert menu and let's jump into the option for diagram. Now when we do that, we'll get this new menu over here on the right hand side that has some basic diagram templates that we can use. You can see we have relationship, process, timeline, hierarchy, grid. So let's go inside this process one and we'll see other options inside here. So other templates that we can modify. You can even modify those templates themselves. We'll see here, we'll choose that to be five steps instead of the default three. And we'll see now, okay, there's this new layout. Let's go back and let's look at hierarchy. And again, with hierarchy, we can look at them this way. Well, maybe we'll use this model here. We use that model and Let's go in here and take a look at the text. And we can overwrite that text and we can say big problem we're solving. And we can modify all these things here. We can modify all this. We can even go in and change the font, make it larger. We can change the font style if we want to. We don't need the Acme font. Now, once I've created my sample that I'm going to have my students use on their own, what I'm going to do is go into my Google Classroom. And here in my classwork, let's create a new assignment. And we'll call this one flowchart template, or let's say flowchart for assignment two. And I might say, you know, write my directions for, for my students and say, modify this template to show your troubleshooting steps. Now let's add that in, go to Google Drive. We're gonna choose from my Google Drive, my sample flowchart right there. Let's insert that. And we'll make a copy for each student and then assign it to them. And that way they have their own copy that they can modify without affecting my original and without affecting anything their classmates are seeing either. So, that's a simple way to create a flowchart or graphic organizer template that you can share with your students in Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.